Hello and welcome. This video is about one thing on how to work efficiently with Inkscape and uh, the situation for which this exists is that you have many projects that you work on and when you create a new project you use an SVG file for your Inkscape project as a template instead of creating from scratch, instead of working from scratch. So in this case we have video 1, this project, the video 1 project, it has one thumbnail vector graphic and then we have video 2 which has nothing and video 3 has nothing either. So let's go into video 1 and thumbnail.svg is our file which we want to reuse. This is, of course is not pretty but it serves as an example here. So what this video is about is exporting. If we hit Control shift e we will see this long export path. And usually, I mean it, it is automatically generated based on where the file is saved. And usually you just click here and press enter or hit export and then you press save and then there's the image file. Alright, now if we go ahead and copy this file, I'm just hitting Control C, going to another folder and then put it in a different folder and then we want to work on it. Let's for example say that in this case all the changes are just some color modifications. And maybe a font switch. So let's assume that this is the actual work that we wanted to do. Now we come again to the export part. Now if we hit Control shift e we get which path? We get the video 1 path which is really not good. What we want here is the video 2 path. Uh, and uh, usually we would hit this and then navigate and then select the folder. And then we hit export and save and again and again. And then we would have to do this again when we copy this to video 3. And if for some reason we had, uh, we would decide to have more complexity in the video 2 folder by adding uh, a thumb folder and maybe a graphics fo uh, folder and maybe sounds and then maybe video uh, source and then maybe video output and so on and so on. If we moved this to the thumbnail folder then also the path of exporting would still be the one we saved earlier. It would be video 2. If we hit export the image gets generated not in here but out here. So to solve this, let me just delete this and let me delete this image. To solve this instead of writing this part just delete this part, delete this, everything but the file name that you want and then write dot slash and now hit export. As you can see it, the file appeared right next to the thumbnail.svg. We are here in video 2 slash thumb and we're gonna save this file, control S, I'm gonna close it and now I'm gonna copy this file, control C and I'm gonna go to the video 3 folder. I'm gonna paste it in here and gonna open it again in Inkscape. Here it is and as you can see the, the export path still is uh, dot slash thumbnail dot png. So if we make our modifications here this time alright let's call this uh, what we want to have and then we just press export without changing anything about the path then as you see the file gets exported right in the same folder. Now we just hit, uh, hit save on this one and everything is good again. And now we can go ahead and create uh, video 4 just uh, copy the SVG file and now we can just keep working this way never having to think about this one little step of changing the export path ever again because in the big picture one little step seems like nothing and it is nothing but when you are deep involved in your work it's just a disruption that is very annoying so delete the full path that you get when you create a new image by just opening Inkscape. Here this default path is really annoying. At least it gets saved when we change the location of the SVG file. If we save it here and then we close this and oh it doesn't even get changed. Wow! This is annoying. I guess it got saved because we opened this window before we saved the SVG file. Wow! Wow! So annoying. So just write dot slash file name and press enter and close it and it will work forever. Here it is. 
So I hope that this is useful. If you have any tricks for using Inkscape, please share, because I'm curious to learn more and making it more effective. And uh, apart from that, I hope to see you in the next video. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and I will see you there. Ciao!